हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सन एकेडमी टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द नेचर ऑफ द रूट्स व्हिच वी लर्न इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर ऑफ द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी फाउंड द रूट्स ऑफ थ्री टू four equations but if someone asks the nature of the roots then how we are going to tell that these roots are real or imaginary or rational or irrational positive fraction or positive integer in previous lecture we learned the formula of the roots that was minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a now in this formula the b square minus 4ac under root is a important term <coughs> is an important term now delta is called b square minus 4 ac this is called discriminant what is it called discriminant from the value of discriminant we can predict the nature of the roots now first of all go back to 9th or 10th and see what <coughs> the numbers say numbers are real or imaginary you may have learnt imaginary means suppose root of minus 5 or root of minus 11 these numbers are called imaginary in rational there are two types in real sorry rational and irrational irrational means root of suppose 7 root of 13 these are called irrational in rational there are five types positive integer negative integer zero positive fraction and fifth is negative fraction okay these are the five types of rational numbers now positive integers means 8 12 negative integers means minus 5 minus 12 0 we know 0 positive fractions means 5 by 2 9 by 5 <coughs> Negative fractions means minus one by two, minus five by four. So this is the chart of the numbers <coughs> types. Numbers are two types: real and imaginary. Real numbers are rational and irrational. While <coughs> in rational, there are positive integers, negative integers, zero, <coughs> positive fraction, and negative fraction. From <coughs> the value of discriminant we can predict what kind of the roots will be now if discriminant is equal to 0 so roots will be rational and equal roots will be rational and 
equal if discriminant is perfect square then roots will be rational and unequal if discriminant is greater than 0 then <coughs> roots will be irrational and unequal if root is less than 0 then <coughs> sorry discriminant is less than 0 roots will be imaginary in this way there are <coughs> four chances if discriminant is equal to 0 roots are rational and equal if discriminant is perfect square then roots are irrational and unequal but if discriminant is greater than 0 then roots are irrational and unequal but fourth is if discriminant is less than 0 then roots will be imaginary now these roots are to be called alpha is equal to minus b minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a or you can write it as and second root is to be called beta that means minus p plus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a or minus p plus root of delta upon 2a. In the next lecture, we will learn about the <coughs> nature of the